last trip to Six Flags at Lister and their daily operations is today. And uh, Eagles Open, it's gonna be first one on it as usual. Let's see if we can get a Zen right on it. That is not running very fast today at all. Got basically no air time on that, which I mean, that's kind of to be expected since I was up front and it was the first ride of the day as a Zen ride. So it doesn't really surprise me, but I've seen it run faster than that on morning rides. Like that's one of the slower rides I've had on it this season, I think. And it is even Red Train, which my friend Will, who was a ride operator here last year, said that Red Train runs faster. So a bit of an off ride, I guess, but oh well. I got a little bit of a headache on, but then again, there's Red Train and Red Train is definitely rougher than Blue Train from my experience. So maybe that's why I have a little bit of a headache, but it was still a decent way to start the day. I'm gonna skip riding Boss for now and go to Justice League because I feel like I can do especially well on it today. That may be a little bit risky because Boss, uh, last time I was here, it closed early. It closed around three o'clock. So it was down half the day. So I feel like I might not get the chance to do it if I don't do it right now, but I'll make my way back up there in just a little bit. But because I feel really confident how good I'll do on Justice League today, I'm gonna go down there and start warming up now. So let's uh, go for it. Two incredible rides back to back right there. I feel really confident about getting a double max today, so let's see if we can do it. I got car number uh, six, those two rides, and my double max came in car one. So I need to try car one to see if that is a car I would be best with for today. So let's go try it. It's Road Justice League a couple times, which I feel really good about my performance so far. And I did freeze in the front and the back. Now let's try Boss, see how much running, which is going way out there. I actually got freeze going too, so yeah, both coaches are going at once. So. Boss wasn't running great for me last time, so let's see how it runs today. <laughs> Boss is crazy fast right now. The turn into the mid course was full of laterals and it was just nuts. The whole ride was chaos from start to finish and I'm surprised the mid course didn't stop the train entirely. Eagle actually has two trains going now. So I'm gonna try this one again, see how it runs compared to my really slow ride this morning. I tried to ride Scream Eagle with my friend Kate who was here a little bit ago, but it broke down. So we did Mine Train, Back Row, uh, Sky Screamer, which was actually the first time riding that in years. So it was nice to get on that and uh, take a break from the heat. And then we rode American Thunder front row. So overall, it was really solid hanging out with her. Now she had to head out, but Ryan will oh, be joining me soon. So not going to drive myself for long. So in the meantime, let's go for, I think this is round five today on Justice League. And uh, yeah, I'll see how we do. I mean, now we're not gonna be able to dual wheel now, I highly doubt it. But you never know what the team arrangements will be like. So maybe we'll get to dual wheel this time, maybe not. Let's find out. 777,000 with a back blaster after getting a mid third screen max. That I think is impressive because I thought I had at least around well, like 500,000 but over 770,000? That's ridiculous. I am shocked by how well I did there. So I have no complaints about that. When I saw the score thing blast from my jaw drop, I'm like, what? I actually got that high? Dang. So that was really, really cool. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is start getting some more shots of these rides. I don't have very much fun today. I haven't hang out with my friend and whatnot. But let's uh, go up to, I think I'm gonna go for Boss or something. Maybe get some footage. I'll maybe Pandemonium as well. I don't have too much footage of that for the show, I don't think so. Yeah, we got freeze run with you guys can kind of hear it. And there it is. So, yeah. I'll definitely run this one with Ryan here once he gets here. But yeah, overall, that run of Justin was pretty good. Well, actually, really good for that matter. I 
is that today would actually be a really nice day to ride Colossus. So I'm gonna do that while waiting for Ryan to show up. And then we'll head up towards, I think, Boss. And uh, yeah, this line isn't horrible. I mean, I've seen it way worse than that, but at the same time, it's a little bit shorter earlier, but I didn't feel like doing it with one of my friends there. So I might as well do it while I'm here by myself and then uh, go ride stuff with Ryan once he gets here. Video clips of rides running. I've been focusing on getting pictures from up there. Boss came through at the perfect time. Like right when the ride vehicles were at the point over there where those uh, vehicles went through, there, uh, Boss came in a few, which is awesome because that was the best spot to get shots of it from. Was right over there in that part of the ride. So I've no complaints from that one, from that part at least. Now I do wish that American Thunder and Batman and even Ninja actually ran while I was up there. Now American Thunder might have because uh, you can't really hear it. And I wasn't paying attention there, but Batman, I'm surprised that didn't run at all. Like ran that one because you guys saw, but other than that, it did run. So yeah, that's really unfortunate. And then Ninja, it wasn't running at that time either. So yeah, I didn't get the most fucked up, but I think the pictures I got of Boss more than enough for it. And now I'm gonna go over and ride Boss again, and I think Brian might be here shortly, but I haven't heard from him. So I'll go over there and wait for him. Ryan and we did boss first. I have some mixed opinions on that ride. The laterals were on point, but man, the crew is staple happy. Like, I don't think they've ever been as staple happy 
as they are this year. Like it was brutal, honestly. That area was also a lot rougher than my ride this morning. So I was uh, disappointed by that. Ryan, what'd you think? Laterals were good, but that was it. Yeah, no um, way of time. Yeah, like at the beginning of the year, like they just started stapling people in July and I don't know why. Yeah, like we were uh, pretty much uh, stapled as well. You somehow were able to get the lab bar down one more click. There's no way I should have done that. Yeah, Apparently the clicks on the Garslaw trains are like very minute. Yeah, so, so I don't know, but all I know is I was stapled in my seat in the, yeah, when the ops stapled me, which uh, well, that's never great. Uh, I felt it in my gut, so that was not comfortable. That's unfortunate. I don't know if I'll be able to ride that again, honestly, because that was rough, a lot rougher than this morning. So, well, I should have looked at the because I didn't ride until about, I don't know, one o'clock. So, we're gonna try Scramming Eagle now, because that line is surprisingly short. Normally, it's huge by now, but because they're running two trains for whatever reason, we're gonna try it. So, let's go for it. Boss may have been rough, but Screaming Eagle was not. It was uh, quite smooth, actually. We did front and second and back of Blue Train. I was really impressed by it. Way better than my ride this morning, which was the Red Train front row. What'd you think? Get fun on it? Yeah, I had a lot more fun on it than our ride on Boss earlier. Yeah, Boss was not running great on our second ride. Well, it's on my second ride, his first and maybe only ride that I don't know if we'll go back up there. I mean, maybe. I don't know. But Eagle was really solid. I actually think I might have liked the front of the Blue Train better than the uh, second and back, although yeah. they're close. Too. I think the front was better too. Yeah, but I mean, not by much. I mean, they're pretty close. I mean, it's on the hills on the trip out before the first time in the woods had almost ejector in the front, which is not normal, I don't think. It usually it's like strong floaters, like almost like weak ejector. It was pretty good actually. Now we're gonna finally get on Just League. I've only ridden it five times today. You haven't done this one yet. No. Nope. Yeah, we'll see how we do on this one because uh, it's been a couple hours since I've ridden it, so I might be a little bit rusty, but you never know. So let's go try it. find a definitive seat on Mr. Freeze as to which is better? If I had to take a guess, probably not. Ryan and I did back row first, and I thought that was gonna be a really difficult one to top, and then the front comes along and it's just as equal. I don't know what to say about it. I'm shocked. What do you think? Definitely my favorite right here. For no, today, no, yeah. No, no doubt about it. Yeah, although my friend on Boston in the early afternoon was good, Freeze might have overtaken it. Well, not in my ranking, but the more I think about it, the more I am starting to consider moving to Boss down below Mr. Freeze. So, I don't know. A lot of the times, Boss has been kind of eh this year, I feel like. Freeze is knocking our socks off every single time. So, I don't know. I might have to move Boss down below Mr. Freeze. Although, I don't know. I'll maybe wait until the end of the season to judge that, but it's, I feel like, a lot closer now. So, Freeze is just amazing. Ryan's gonna go ride American Thunder. I already rode it earlier today with Kate, so I don't feel the need to try it again. Plus, they're on one train in the line for the back row, which is where Ryan's going. It's kind of long, so I'm going to go over and start marathoning Justice League until the park closes. See how many more I can get. Over halfway between 1,200 and 1,300, so I don't know how many I'm at right now. I'll double check, but let's see how many more we can get for the uh, end of the night. We have a little over an hour still, so let's see how many we can get. Up to 1258 on this. I would like to get up to 1265 in the end of the night. So let's see if we can do it. We got just under an hour left. My marathon on Justice League is complete, and the last ride I had, oh my gosh, this is something to be proud of. I have never come so close to doing a five panel run. Yep, you heard it here first, folks. I nearly cleared five sets of panels on the second screen. I had uh, 47, so that was insane that I got that high. I think I accidentally hit one right at the very start. I don't think I hit another one after that. And I had two sets done by the time the LexCorp cycle was flying at me. Which, if you've ridden Justice League, then you know that in the second screen, the Lex Corp sign comes flying at you semi early on. So, the fact that I had two sets cleared before then is absolutely insane. So, I uh, 
maxed out, uh, I think the first blaster, this weird glitch in the hallway, which I'll explain when I make that video about how to max out Justice League. I maxed out that one in that hallway, the second one I maxed out fifth screen, so yeah, I messed up a little bit in the fourth screen, but I still got an early fifth screen, I still got 100,000 plus with the third one, so... 152,000. What was that? Yeah, 152,000 on the third one. Yeah, that's just ridiculous, so... Yeah, I'm just shocked how good I did. And actually, you said you did something cool for your first time on that ride tonight. What'd you do? I hit my highest score ever. Which was? 373,000 on the second blaster. That's pretty good, dude. You're, uh, uh, I guess, a third of the way there to double maxing it. That's so one of my only times ever doing the three panel screen. Yeah, three I know. Panels. Wait, wait. So you went from behind to getting 300,000 on the second blaster in the same ride? Yeah. No, no way. No, 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 no. no I was, was about to say, ride. that, that doesn't ride. seem possible. The one... That I was behind, I got 68,000 on the other blaster. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm, yeah. In fact, you still managed to max out the first one, and it's almost really impressive. Yeah, I, I saved my butt in the panel screen. Yeah. And uh, usually you really use the panel screen unless you're really far behind. You usually resort to the backup strategy. Yeah, I really do use the backup strategy a lot. Yeah, you're more effective with that than I am. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, I'd say our marathon was a success. My final ride count from today was 18 on Justice League, 4 on Mr. Freeze, 3 on Screaming Eagle, 2 on Boss, and then 1 on American Thunder, Colossus, River King Mine Train, and Skyscreamer. 1 on Boom... <laughs> not Boomerang, okay. okay 1 on Batman, about? 1 on Ninja, 2 on Freeze. Yeah, we did front and back on 2 on American it. Thunder. Wait, oh, 1 was, on American Thunder. Oh, how was it running, by the way? It was really good. It was I liked really? it. Yeah, nice. it 10 moments of airtime, oh, so dang. pretty good. That's pretty solid for that um, ride. 1 on Boss and eight on Justice League. Ryan also rode Screaming Eagle twice, but he forgot to mention that in the video. Didn't you say you rode Ninja today? Or did Na you? I did say that. Oh, you did? Earlier. Oh, how was that? Really good. If you know how to ride it, then you can really appreciate it. Yeah, but it he rode second back, which I've only ridden the back of the train once and it messed my back up pretty good. So well, yeah, I'm not a fan of that back there. The drive is good in the back. I'll yeah, give it that, but. the drive is really good, but everything else is better in the front. Yeah, I agree with that. And you said it wasn't like horribly rough back there either? No, it wasn't horribly rough at Interesting. all. I didn't have any headbanging. I don't think I had any headbanging when I rode the back in June of 2021. But, I mean, I know my back was messed up after, like I just said. One so. thing you can see with Ninja is if you look at the trains, you can see them shuffle, though. Really? I don't yeah. think I noticed that when I rode the back of the train. I mean, I believe it, though. It is a half arrow, half a coma. So, obviously, there's going to be a lot of jank involved with this one. Overall, I would say today was really solid. Before you click off of this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing. I just hit 500 subscribers and I am very thankful for all of your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. Be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.